Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another live coding session. Today we have an exciting coding uh, challenge from Lead Code uh, 229 Majority Element 2. So let's dive right in. Uh, this problem asks us to find all the elements and integer array that appear more than n divided uh, by uh, 3 times. So uh, n divided by 3. Uh, that appears and sounds interesting, uh, right? So let's first uh, look at some example. So for example, here we have three divided by three and we output uh, number three because uh, number three uh, has two uh, occurrences. And if we have something uh, larger, like for example, uh, three, three, uh, three, uh, four, 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 Five, we need to output three and four and uh, yeah so because both three and four appear uh, three times uh, so count uh, count is three and we need to output numbers that are greater than seven divided by uh, three so it's uh, a bit bigger than uh, two and both uh, appear three times so both are outputted and five is not outputted because uh, it's upper only once and we are asked about seven, so n divided by uh, three. Okay, so now uh, as we understand the task, let's dive into the logic. So at first, uh, it might be tempting to use a hash map to count occurrences, but we can do better than this. So with a hint from the Boyer Moore voting algorithm, and we realize that at most only two number can appear more than uh, n divided by uh, three times. And with this insight, we can use two counter and two candidate variable to track potential uh, majority element. So uh, let's uh, start uh, coding. So we have our solution. Uh, majority uh, element and uh, first we need to handle uh, each case where the list might be uh, empty. So if the list is empty, return an empty list. So if not num, return empty. Uh, okay. So we have it and now let's initialize uh, our candidate and uh, counter as well. So it will be uh, initialize two candidates and their counter. So candidate one, candidate two, count one and count two, zero, one, zero and zero. Uh, so uh, let's uh, iterate through uh, our number and apply the modified a bit uh, Boyer Moore uh, logic. Oh, so we'll do this Boyer Moore voting algorithm. So for num in nums, if num equals candidate one, count will be plus one, else num candidate two count two plus one as well and else count one zero then candidate one count will be num and one and else so count two will be Zero. So if it's zero, uh, candidate two count num one. So we just uh, simply initializing and else uh, count minus one and count two minus one as well. So verify the two candidates. Uh, so uh, this um, main part uh, is. Uh, for more voting algorithm a bit modified. And finally, we need to 
to verify our candidate and to return uh, those which uh, actually appear more than n uh, divided uh, by three times. So to do this, return num for num in candidate one, candidate two, if num count num greater than len of uh, divided by three. So let's uh, test to see if it's working. So hopefully it will. Yeah, so all good. Uh, it's working for given uh, test cases. So let's uh, test our solution using the uh, error. So uh, those examples are good. And now uh, also for unseen test cases. So submitting and yes. So our implementation uh, beat 57% uh, with respect to runtime. I think I have uh, yeah, in first uh, try even a bit uh, faster. So beating 91, 99%, but probably it's uh, depend uh, on uh, runtime. So there we have it, a beautiful optimized uh, solution for our uh, problem and remember Sometimes the key is not just uh, hard work, but also understanding the underlying principles uh, of algorithm and uh, cleverly uh, adapting them. So if you enjoyed this session, uh, smash the like button and consider subscribing for more uh, coding adventure, uh, challenges, tutorial, uh, machine learning, uh, tech and much more. And until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated and happy coding.